Sleeping Giant State Park was at full capacity. Cars lining the parking lot all the way into the back, people lining the trails, all to be able to get some fresh air, but they say that they were thinking about safety on their walk. I literally hold a hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer and social distancing were buzzwords along trails at Sleeping Giant State Park. Making sure to keep space between me and other people, stay to the side so when people pass by we give adequate room. That was a little hard to do as Sleeping Giant was forced to turn cars away after reaching capacity. Connecticut DEP has seen an uptick on their trails since self-quarantining began. There's also a lot of anxiety out there and, and people need to have an outlet. Uh, to be able to uh, recreate and, and get some fresh air and stretch their legs. DEP says stretching those legs is a good thing, but are encouraging doing so in small groups or in solidarity. A good practice following the governor asking to keep social gatherings to five or less people. You're taking a walk outside when you're um, seeing friends, stay apart and no more than five. DEP says indoor facilities at their parks are closed, including picnic areas. They're encouraging the use of good hygiene, keeping your hands to yourself and avoiding parks with full parking lots. Check the DEEP website and find another park that might be nearby. DEP says they are constantly monitoring the visitors coming to any one of the state's 110 parks. So far, they are happy with what they have seen. Connecticut residents are really doing a great job. Um, while we see a lot of visitorship, uh, people are maintaining that space. People we talk to say that they hope that trails and parks like this one remain open. They hope to be able to get active and get some fresh air during this difficult time. In Hamden, Dave Puglisi, Fox 61 News.